At Stanislaus State, it is a handoff nine months in the making. Two medical grade freezers leaving the science building and being put into use to store highly anticipated COVID-19 vaccines. What were those freezers normally used for? Well, we store our plant and animal samples, our microorganisms for long-term storage. Molecular biologist Dr. Jim Youngbloom explains the university's freezers are four times colder than a normal freezer, minus 80 degrees Celsius, the equivalent negative 112 Fahrenheit. They are rare and they are expensive, and I think they've become really hard to come by because of the need now with... Uh, the vaccine starting to be distributed. Happy to ease unforgiving challenges. We were just contacted recently and they've already picked up the freezers and I think that suggests to me that the vaccines are coming. But the California Hospital Association tempers that enthusiasm with the reality the San Joaquin Valley region is among the hardest hit in terms of ICU capacity in cases. The situation in San Joaquin, in the San Joaquin region, um, is very, very serious at the moment. Right now, 56% of all of the patients in that region are COVID patients. The availability of vaccines uh, today in California for the first time is really an important uh, step in addressing this crisis. The challenge is the timing. It does not line up well in terms of people who are already infected with the virus, who will then in a week or two need hospitalization. So we can't stop what's already happened. Uh, I've referred to this as standing on a beach watching a tsunami come at us. It seems like from what you're saying that it's gonna get, it may possibly get worse before it actually gets better. Worse than that, it will get worse before it gets better. Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.